Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're running an AMD-based system, just to let you know that AMD has released a new display driver for Windows, which is rolling out to address an annoying issue where an older driver that was released through Windows Update will overwrite a new driver. Now, this driver, though, is still a preview driver. It's a beta driver. So it's not Microsoft WHQL certified. And that stands for Windows Hardware Quality Labs, just in case you're unaware. And this issue has been affecting different generations of GPUs. But as mentioned, AMD now has rolled out its latest Adrenaline Edition 25.3.2 optional update okay that's why it's optional because it's not whql certified but the update is resolving issues for its latest rx 9000 series cards as mentioned where an older driver will overwrite a newer driver now i'll leave this post linked in the description because it'll give you all the information you would need but here we can see the highlights. It's got new game support for Assassin's Creed Shadows, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. And there's a whole lot of different fixes, which you can check out because this article will be linked. But the one I want to bring your attention to is Windows Update may overwrite the installed AMD Software Adrenaline Edition with an older version of the graphics driver on Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products. So if you are experiencing that issue, then I would suggest updating with this latest driver. And if we scroll down, just take note though, there are quite a lot of known issues. So check that out. And yeah, are the driver download links. So that's for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And with all driver updates, as I always suggest on the channel, only download this driver. If you are experiencing the issue spoken about in this video or any of the other issues that the driver is fixing, else just ignore the driver because it is a beta driver. And if your system is perfectly fine and everything's um, running stable and all A and OK, then I would just ignore this driver. But obviously, if you are experiencing that issue where an older driver rolling out through Windows Update will overwrite a newer driver, then obviously install the update so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.